and it's Elizabeth Tam, and right now I'm with the cast of Minority Report at Comic Con. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell us about your character? Uh, hi, my name is Lijan Lee, uh, and everyone calls me Lily, but I play the character of Akila. Um, she is a technician at the precinct who works very closely with Vega. And I'm Daniel London, I play Wally. I'm the guy that took care of the precogs back when they were in the milk bath a decade ago, and uh, now I'm back to help Vega and Dash figure out these, these murders that are happening now. So, what made you guys so start really with like involved like start. and feel any pressure, you know, diving into this? Yes, definitely a lot of pressure. First of all, it was, it was such a great film. It was one of my favorite films. I saw it in the theaters when it first came out, and I rewatched it actually when I first became involved in the project, and actually most recently two weeks ago. Um, but because it was um, such a such a great film, I we, we feel a tremendous pressure to. Um, to meet and carry out the expectations. Yeah, and for me, it was uh, you know, it was getting to do a role that I had done almost 15 years ago in the movie, getting to sort of revisit that, which you know, it was like a long lost friend that you hadn't seen you know in forever suddenly just showing up on your doorstep, and you know, it was very emotional for me in a weird way, and, and exciting, and just unusual as an actor to get to. Maybe Sylvester Stallone gets to do that, you know, to play Rocky every yeah. 10 years. But that, <laughs> otherwise, I think it's a pretty rare thing and a really exciting. So being 10 years in the future from when the movie was stopped, what are some of the differences you've noticed and some of the you guys are now the movie and you know, a lot different. Well, I mean, in terms of, for my character, I feel like, you know, Wally's been up to certain things, you know, in the, in the interim, but really his his life and his passion was caring for these, these precogs. And so it's been almost like a, a ten-year vacuum for him, uh, where he's kind of been without purpose in a way. He's designed some video games and things like that, but once they enter back into his life, Wally is just like back in the game and so excited to sort of be at this again. Um, and, and the sort of the world of it is just all the kind of technological advances have, have just gone even, even further. Yeah, without any without any gadgets, you can speak on the with someone to buy a voice stand alone. So what's uh, the coolest piece of advanced technology that have you guys using? I um, have many. There's uh, some sun, sun pumps. Uh, um, this this uh, new campaign for that plays um, the Dark Souls game. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it doesn't, um, it harms them, but just enough to uh, stop them from doing harm to you. Um, and then one thing about Wally, I think. I like my sort of approach to technology because he adds in like old school technological things with like the cutting edge. Like he still uses the clapper to turn off certain <laughs> things in his in his lab, along with like the most cutting edge mm -hmm. device. So I, I like that about him. He sort of has the, the throwback, the throwback stuff still lingering around. So this being the pilot season, how does it work with the cast? How is the synergy? Yeah. We love, we love each other. It's the best cast. We're so close as a family. Um, it's really true. I mean, yeah. We have so much fun together and we love coming to work every day to see each other and you know, texting when we're not at work. And, yeah. you know, we're out in Vancouver, so we're kind of like isolated, but having, having each other has been great. It's amazing. It's unique. It's it's fun. It yeah. keeps growing. Yeah. Keeps getting more action packed. And you know, I think we're really now see, uh, episode four, episode five. We're really like flying. It's gonna, it's gonna get good.